Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need the humanitarian aid that the Palestinians of Gaza have been waiting for is still sitting at the border as of earlier this morning. Pictures show about 54 trucks carrying humanitarian aid waiting to cross the border to deliver said aid to the Palestinians. Palestinians who have been reported to only be able to eat one meal a day in order to preserve food and barely any water to drink. While the aid offers food and water, fuel is unclear to be a part of the itinerary, which the Gaza hospitals desperately need to power their generators, especially after Gaza's sole power plant was devastated in an Israeli airstrike that occurred earlier in the war. Meanwhile, stories have come out from the civilians who are struggling in the ongoing and brutal war. Azmi Kashawi is a 59-year-old U.S.-educated researcher at the International Crisis Group. Him, his wife, two sons, two daughters, and grandchildren are currently trying to survive the ongoing war. However, they have been reported to be scraping by, and their sense of desperation is growing, according to reports from the Associated Press. The family has been unable to shower in days, since the Gaza Strip has been cut off from water and fuel supplies. Workers from a United Nations school are able to hand out water and jerry cans to the needy, but it's been stated to be rather salty water. It was reported that there are sometimes too many airstrikes to attempt scavenging for food. With his family's stocks dwindling, all he can hope is to get bread when he can. On October 19th, the line for only one loaf of bread was quoted to be chaotic and took five hours. With several bakeries having been bombed during the war and others closed due to the lack of water and power, trying to get food is a rather daunting and exhausting task for those struggling in the Gaza Strip. The family ends up having to eat stale bread and powdered milk. Even though Kashawi has the money to buy food for his grandchildren, there's hardly anything to actually get. Osmi Kashawi stated that, it's not the time to be picky. We don't know if anything will be available tomorrow. Probably the most heartbreaking report regards the adults attempting to soothe the children during the nighttime airstrikes. For the youngest, he often yells boom and cheers when the bombs thunder in order to make the babies laugh. However, the older children are terrified, knowing exactly what those are knowing exactly how much damage those bombings have caused. Even though Kashawi tries to put on a brave face, he stated that, It's really killing me. It really breaks my heart. Finally, Hamas militants were reported to have freed two Americans earlier today at approximately 12.11 p.m. The two were an American mother and her teenage daughter, who have been held hostage since the war began on October 7th. As joyous as the news is that two hostages have finally been released, over 200 are still being held by the terrorist organization. Relatives of other captives released a statement saying that, We call on world leaders and the international community to exert their full power in order to act for the release of all the hostages and those missing.